We're not going to see what those words of wisdom are, but I'm sure they were extremely wise. But we will shortly go back to the track for the final of the men's steeplechase, the 3,000 metre steeplechase. There, the full lineup Cotter of Ireland, Nipperes of Australia, Safulin of Russia, Kern of Switzerland, Bazanskis of Lithuania, Minchin of Russia, Neiman of uh, Noam Neiman, Duvar of Turkey, Nasty of Italy, Guinea of Romania, Johansson of Sweden, and Roa of Spain. That's a quick run through the full lineup for this 3,000 meter steeplechase. We may meet, and we are going to meet, I think, each of them individually. And we will be introduced, first of all, to the Irish student, Thomas Cotter, fourth at the recent uh, European Team Championship Division One match in Dublin. Next will be the Australian, the reigning Australian champion, James Nipperis. There will be a big cheer from the crowd for the next athlete, Ilgiza Zafiulin, the uh, 2013 Russian under-23 champion. Marco Kern from Switzerland there. Then next, the Lithuanian student, Justinas Berzanskis. You can expect the noise level to be ratcheted up for the athletes who will, like, who will be introduced next. Ilda Minchin, the World University Games bronze medalist the last time it was held. Then from Israel, Noam Niman. Next, the Turkish national champion, Hakan Duvar. Patrick Nasty for Italy, who also competed at the last World University Games where he was sixth. Can he get amongst the medals this year? Guinea from Romania. Then it will be Sweden's Fredrik Kora Hansen. And finally, the man who was fifth at the 2011 Universiad World University Games, Sebastian Roa. So seven laps of the track plus 200. I'm sure the cameras, as always, will be focused on the water jump, bringing in some great shots as the field goes over that. So two Russians will be interested to see the tactics. Will they run as a team? And it is the Irish student who lined up on the inside who uh, I think finds himself in the lead rather than uh, desperately eager to lead. Well, last night we saw Yulia Sarapova really run away with things straight from the gun. She was off and by the time they reached 200 metres, she had a 20 metre lead. Nobody else dared to go with the Olympic champion. And this is going to be a very, very different kind of race, I think. They're bunching all over the place at the moment. Well, I was going to be extremely rude and say that they are jogging. The Italian now injects a little bit of pace. As well, if, uh, if you're not very impressed, it's perhaps right then that Patrick Nasty is the one who's leading. The Italian Patrick Nasty, 2011 World University Games sixth placer. Cotter in uh, fourth place, the 2011 Irish champion. The Spaniard in uh, the uh, familiar red and yellow, Sebastian Roa in second place. But still, I would not describe them as racing. They'll come now into the water jump on the top bend for the first time. Nasty has a lifetime best of 8.29.08, just outside that this season with 8.30. And he's looking over his shoulder. Does anybody want to do the work with me? Does anybody want to do the work at the front of the field with, for me, with me? Well, I'm afraid the answer is no. Sebastian Roa follows him over. And then uh, Justinus Bazanskis, 
who has a lifetime best of 8 minutes 45. Well, he shouldn't feature in the battle for the medals, but at the moment he is up there in third place, and that reflects the slow. Take the lead with that. The uh, lead was 18-19 by Lu Zhangrong. And I suggested that Tarasova would be one of those who would challenge Lu Xiangrong. 19 metres 35 at her best, Tarasova, season's best of 1920. Well, you see them going over the uh, water jump there as the field passes us through the finish line. And it is the Italian who still leads with uh, 2,000 metres to go. Yeah, it was uh, around right about three minutes for the, uh, the split. And, uh, well, if you, when you're looking at the Diamond League and things like that, that's 30 seconds behind what you would expect in the likes of Rome and elsewhere across the uh, Diamond League meetings. But this is not all about fast times or earning money. This is all about gold medals and glory on the day. So that would bring them in round about nine minutes. But I can't imagine... It's going to be that slow. That, that it is going to be that slow. Because that is women's pace. You have to say that's a women's pace. It's a very quick women's pace, but... It needs to speed up at some point, otherwise the sprinters in here are going to have a field day over the last 1,500 metres. And it is one of the two Russians who now moves into second place as they go over the water jump. And it is Ilgizar Zafulin who moves now to the front of the field. The man who was the fastest through the heats in 8.48. It was a real sprint between him and Ildar Minshin, the other Russian. It should be fought out between them, but there's a few men there who could fight it out. The favourite will be Minshin, though. He's got the best personal best in the field by quite some margin. But at the moment, I have to say, the second of the Russians looks to be struggling down the back straight. He is back in sixth place. And there is a gap growing to what is going to become, in a moment, a group of five. Yes, so Fulin really stretching them out now. The race has finally started. And a lap ago, they were all bunched up. Now they are single file as they head through the water jump. Raboa still in there. And Minchin, Ildar Minchin, is having to work extremely hard to get back with that leading group. Perhaps the pace was so slow at the, at the, over that opening kilometre that he actually lost concentration. He was caught, wasn't he? He was caught. He's trying to come back, but at the moment, he's having to do it. And he'll need to do it. He'll work his way back gradually. You'd have to say he can't just sprint back up there. Otherwise, he'll use up Kendricks. But he might well be smiling at the end if Yamamoto also can't get over 570 with his final attempt in that competition. 800 metres to go in this steeplechase. Sebastian Roa, the reigning Spanish University's champion, fifth at the last World University Games, the year 2011 in which he took the European Under-23 title. It is Safulin, the Russian, in third place. Sebastian Roa in second. There is a gap starting to grow. Patrick Nasty, sixth at the World University Games in 2011, leads with something like 600 metres to go. The other Russian who we expected to feature, Minchin, the 2011 national champion, is not going to get amongst the medals. And now, to the delight of the crowd, it is Safulin who, over the water jump, moves into the lead. Well, Safulin is uh, regarded as probably the favourite amongst these to take the title. He's now taking it on. Patrick Nasty, though, is not over yet as they come. And with one lap to go, they hear the bell. Just a few barriers to go. And the sprint is on to decide the champion at the World University Games in the steeplechase. And Safulin, round the, round the bottom bend, is beginning to extend that lead over the Italian. Sebastian Roa in the third place. Barring disaster, I think Safulin has got this race in his pocket. The crowd roaring him down the back straight. The Italian, Nasty, stutters into that barrier on the back straight. Safulin into the water jump for the last time. He clears it well. Here he comes. 
100 meters to go. The crowd on their feet, roaring him home. A well, well judged race from Safulin over that last barrier. Can Patrick Nasty hang on to the silver medal? Raboa closing in on him. We're going to have a battle for bronze and silver. And it is Raboa who goes through. Sebastian Roa who goes through on the inside to take silver. Running Patrick Nasty out of the medals in the last 30 metres. Raboa fifth. Sebastian Roa fifth at the last World University Games. Nasty sixth. They get bronze and silver here at the 2013 World University Games. But it is all about that man there who was in your shot. Well, it's been a while since Russia have managed to claim this particular title. But Safulin there took control with 600 metres to go. And Patrick Nasty, it was a brave attempt by him to try and go himself. But in the end, he's rewarded with a medal. And there's also a new personal best. The Israeli team in front of us are celebrating. Noam Neiman might not have a medal. He might have finished only fifth, but he's got a new personal best of 8 minutes 49.07. And the Israeli team running down in front of us to congratulate him. Taken a couple of seconds of his previous best of 8.51.13. Good run from Sebastian Martos Roa there. He left it late, came past a tiring, nasty down the home straight to take the silver medal for Spain. And uh, what a contrast. It's almost like looking at a European team championship race, isn't it, with that lineup? A European, a European, a European, and another European. No Africans in sight in that race. And uh, it's not often you get that. No. And uh, we have uh, seen some of the African nations noticeable by their absence. And that is a nasty, nasty cut. I'm wondering what that is. Is that a spike mark or has he hit a barrier? Yeah, I would suggest that it's a bit high for a spike mark. He may well have walloped a barrier. Yeah. Ouch. Yes, it well is. <laughs> They are very solid, I can, uh, I can tell you that. Yeah, they're not like hurdles, which no. are actually now being delivered out to the track again after the end of that uh, steeplechase. The men's 110-metre hurdles is the next final out on track. While the confirmed result on the screen of that steeplechase. So a five-second victory for the Russian. First senior title for him as well. And Kremlin, which overlooks the stadium. And so to the medal ceremony for the men's steeplechase. And this was a race that uh, delighted the home support. So here is the Italian student, Patrick Nasti, who uh, got uh, narrowly beaten for the bronze medal by uh, Sebastian Roa, got run out of it in the final 20 metres. 8 minutes 38.41, the time in which Patrick Nasti crossed the line to take that bronze. Sebastian Roa of Spain, 8 minutes 37.94. But you have to say that uh, it was a convincing run 
and a convincing victory by the 2013 World University Games men's steeplechase champion. And here he comes to great, great cheers from the crowd, as you might imagine. Safulin of Russia took the gold in the men's steeplechase. 8.32.53, some five, well, about five seconds clear of Roa in the silver medal position. So that adds to an ever-growing haul of uh, gold medals by the, well, I use the word huge Russian team that is here on home soil at the 2013 Universiad. Well, the Russians already started out on top of the medal table this morning and, uh, well, they've increased their lead yet further. That's not quite as big a camera as some of the others that we saw. But she will have captured her moment, and he captures moments for the world's media.